Yeah, just, it better not be a shower thought. That's all I'm saying. Why would you remind him? A big dick is a great thing to have, but a <laughs> terrible thing to be. <laughs> <laughs> shower thoughts. <laughs> Even a shower thought? It's on no, the it subreddit. Is. Yeah, it is. It's on the subreddit. The idea, entire idea of a shower thought is just an idea in your head. It could be the stupidest thing ever, but you just can't respond to it. You just think about it. Are you thinking oh, about geez. it? Yeah. Continue thinking about it. Hold up, Riley's calling me. Wait, is the Joker a shower thought then? Because I've been Hello? thinking about the movie all the time. Hey, hey, we're doing a podcast. Hello. Oh, okay, bye. No. Hi, oh, Felicia. Wait, be a guest. Be uh, yeah, yes, we be our guests. Put our service to the test. Okay, guys. <laughs> and you said you didn't want copyright. Crap. Um. Yeah, we actually just started like uh, a minute and five. A minute six, and six seconds seven, ago. So eight thirty minutes. Nine. I'm calling you because Rachel just had a baby, and I'm bored, and um. That's your problem now that I'm bored. You're I'm dead. your problem. No, Rachel had a oh. baby. Oh. <laughs> Who's that? Who do you think that is? I only see him Chandler had a baby. I mean, forever. I don't know. What are you talking about? I'm friends. Are you talking about the Shut TV up. show Friends? <laughs> yes. That's what I thought oh. you were talking about. <laughs> oh, actually. All right. <laughs> Alex, you were just Wait, are you recording right now? Yes, yeah. we're recording. No, I wasn't. <laughs> That's smart. So would it be inappropriate for me to ask if I can have your baby? Uh... <laughs> Yeah, probably. Doesn't your parents listen to this? Too? Yeah, my, my, my parents listen to this, too. This it's thing. okay. I'll, I'll edit it out, okay? No, 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 no. All right, we don't need to edit this. It's fine. This is a clean slate. All right, so do you want to stick around? Sure. Okay, just be quiet since you have weird audio quality. And you're a woman. And you're a woman. Big what? <laughs> no, where are you at? I actually think I'll just call you later. Where am I? <laughs> We're talking to Noah. Noah See, this this is going to get confusing. <laughs> Whatever. Bye. Bye. Love bye. you. Bye, Noah. Bye-bye. Finally. <laughs> 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 he didn't even say it back. <laughs> oh. He doesn't love you anymore, Zach. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. Uh, so welcome back to the Generous Podcast. I'm now taking this over. Take two. <laughs> <laughs> We are here with Zachary Os Randolph. Nope. Alexander Randolph Os. Indubitably. <laughs> I don't know. And I'm Noah. Hi. And Hello. I'm Alex Os. And I'm Zach Randolph. And I'm Ian Oblock. And I'm Ian Oblock. And I'm Zach Randolph. And I'm Noah Parker. And, and I'm, I'm Alex Os. You don't want to be me. And this is. Clearwater Chronicles. Yes! Yeah! Yeah! Wait, I, I'm against this. No, 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 no. And this is school appropriate. <laughs> Not yet! <laughs> it's never happening, actually. Yeah, it's never gonna happen because Ian's the worst. What are you talking about? I set upon a plan and we have to follow through with it first. It'll you don't work. even follow through with it yourself. What are you talking about? You weren't even at the meeting. You don't know what the plan yeah. is. Yeah. Shut up! Be oh. Yeah, no, <laughs> shut up! Uh, no! no! Arlacuno! Articuno, are you okay? <laughs> Ian, how <laughs> dare you? <laughs> Ian fell back and landed on Articuno's table. Oh, that hurts. That's Articuno, what you get you for okay? scaring him. I love you, birdie. Your bird is dumb. He flew upstairs. Your dad could have been home. Yeah, but uh, my bird was smart enough to know that he wasn't home. Don't your parents listen to the podcast? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dad, if you're listening to this, uh, no, Articuno what? cannot fly. What no, it's that? fine. We don't need okay. to edit this. Oh, good. All right. <laughs> Thank you for... I was thinking that in my head. I was like... <laughs> anyway, I'm Zach Randolph. And I'm Alex Aust. I'm Ian Nabla. And I'm Noah Parker. And, and I'm Zach Randolph. And nope, goodbye. This is the... the... Yes. 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 Yeah. It generates podcast. Yeah. Are we ever going to actually start this podcast? How Here about no? Yeah, let's not. Okay. I'm so down. this has been the Degenerates Podcast. All right. Okay. Uh, uh, see you Alex. next month. <laughs> <laughs> this is an update video. <laughs> we are still alive. <laughs> Obviously, nothing's happened in the past month. Okay. Dad. Actually, oh, a little bit's happened. You know what we didn't do in week one? Huh. <laughs> we did not discuss the play or musical. Oh. oh. That wasn't, guys. Shut up, I'm going sorry. to kill you. 
You didn't even go to it. Yeah, I did. Yeah, he did. He watched it. When? I don't know, but First I saw him after night. the... Yeah, I, I saw him after. No, no. Oh, Saturday. First public night. So, uh, yeah, let's talk about that, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Zach here was our lead. Wait. What? We all have to talk in Brooklyn accents when we're talking about I can't. It. Please say New guys. York. It's a New, New York. I was saying yeah. it, it wasn't Brooklyn. It was... Same thing. Like New York City. Nathan, Nathan, yeah, it's Nathan. New York City. I'm from New York. Yeah, I'm a New Yorker. New Yorker. I'm a New Yorker. I'm not what even going to try. Say? Anyway. You, you uh, better try, boy. That was Southern. Yes. <laughs> you better try, boy. You better try, boy. And now you're starting to sound like Woody. <laughs> yeah. Wait, There's a snake in my no, boot. He didn't actually have an accent, I noticed. He just changed his voice for some of the words. Yeah, like, but there was no actual accent. Yeah, I know. Which, I mean, it works. Like, not everyone in New York has an accent. Yeah. Nathan, 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 Nathan. Dick. Okay. Oh, wow. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I was Nathan Detroit. Uh, I was the, the gambler in charge of running the crap game. For the longest time, I thought it was supposed to be crab game. The crab game. You throw crabs in the middle, and <laughs> we bet on we how bet long on it takes for we bet on the them show. fighting. Yeah, it's a, it's yeah. a fight. Pit. We're like a bunch of monkeys just throwing crap at each other. Not that type of crap game. Ah, oh. uh, I see. Oh. Who are you, Alex? <coughs> I was Livalips Louie. Not a real character. It okay. was a real Ro- character because Rody it was set. In, it was set in the script. <laughs> Live a Lips Louie was said once in the script. <laughs> it and, it was was. Writ- and it was written in three more times. <laughs> <laughs> he was given three more lines. Good job. Thank you. Thank, My role thank was you. better than that, and I was the audience. Was it, That's just was harsh. It you, you can't really have a show with just the audience. That's true. That's very boring. Is <laughs> <laughs> the entire theater filled with the audience? Standing ovation. It's like you go to a movie theater and you're just watching a movie about the audience. It's just a big mirror. Would you get <laughs> it's a mirror? <laughs> Would you need an audience to watch a film about an audience? I feel like there's a movie about this. I don't. Inception. So. Well, I was just about saying. To watch a movie about an audience, you do have to have an audience with it. You can't I guess. watch it by yourself. That's probably true, yeah. Did you say you can't watch a movie by yourself? Wait, if you said a, that wrong. If it's with an audience, though. The movie's about an audience. You need the audience to watch the movie about the audience. You have to have an audience. Ah, <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> this is like multiple levels of infinity all over again. That's the one thing I've learned this year from college algebra is multiple levels of infinity. <laughs> oh, yeah, just wait. There's more. Shut up. I don't want to hear it. Anyway, uh, so yeah, guys and dolls. It was a good show. I liked it. I, uh, I like it was the a, product. It was uh, a pretty good show. It, not my favorite. I, it wasn't my favorite, but mm-hmm. a lot of the fans sure enjoyed A lot of the older people really enjoyed it because yeah. the show was made when they were younger. So I honestly believe I could get nominated for a gesture for this. I so, remember backstage. Yeah, kept on saying, we had, this was the fewest mistakes I've ever had. There's a story in the school. And we actually, for when, oh, the jester judge, judge wasn't there when Shay's mic got turned on, was it? They were there Sunday. Shay's mic got turned on Sunday. Was it? That was Saturday. No. Saturday, I know we had like two mistakes. Sunday, we had one. Yeah. Mm. There will I, be. A... Actually, I, I did talk to him. I forgot how I talked to him about it. But uh, what are you doing? Is that a feather? Yeah. That's disgusting. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> uh, so when I tur- accidentally turned Shay's mic on, uh, the band was coming in and they were like, you, like mouth movements and stuff. So it looks like one of them was just saying it and talking, because um, what most of the um, I talked to uh, my grandparents from the audience, and they're like, "Why did that one random person have a mic?" <laughs> so I'm um, hopefully like most of the people just thought, "Oh, they're supposed to say this." That's pretty useful, actually. Yeah, yeah and I was really happy when I heard that. No, but uh, I believe you can be also nominated for gesture. I do yeah. not. I did a really good job acting, but I don't think the character has enough. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I can quality. See that. He didn't have a single solo song. I think out of all the leads, though, Shay, Shay, <clears throat> and you. I was thinking like Woody for his singing, definitely. Yeah, Woody's uh, like his God singing. Singer. His singing is amazing. The one thing I think would have made it better is if you could have sang like Frank Sinatra. What do you mean? If you could sing like Frank Sinatra. 
Yeah, but no one can sing like Frank Exactly, Sinatra. so that's why it wasn't that good. <laughs> there will be an article in the school newspaper about the play, though. I thought there already was. No, I... Okay, no. I don't actually want to ever hear about the school newspaper, because it is a joke. Yeah. I, I had to ask, like, five people... How to actually find this thing? Yeah, I know. It's. I think they plan to actually start. You told me that out. three weeks ago. Yeah, like, that's three weeks ago. When no, you told me three weeks ago. Like either today or tomorrow, they're gonna make announcements. About, <coughs> Go check out the school newspaper. Well, that's why I heard in class, but apparently that member didn't get to the office. I feel so. like it's never gonna happen. And it's just a joke. It's it probably is. It's not a joke. I I love to read the school newspaper. It's I will. Yeah, I would love to see it, but it is a joke right now because they're not ever gonna publish or uh, make an announcement about it. Well, they just need to make it easily accessible. It's a story written by me, just like the Degenerates one was. Mm-hmm. I still think they should make paper newspaper. No, that'd be much easier. I would totally do that. Just have it, like, sitting in the commons. Yeah, yeah exactly. Just that would actually newspaper be stand? pretty dope. Yeah. Like, I'd even pay a quarter for that. Nope, don't tell them that, because I'll give them an idea. Well, I'm just saying I would. Stop. Sorry. What That'll you... be the only, like, business going on in the school. So would that technically make the yearbook a school monopoly? No. Wait. We had the discussion in, um, what was it? Government. And one thing Hampton didn't say today that I was really disappointed at, because there's one major thing about monopolies. You cannot have a monopoly um, localized. So like Mises. Oh, that is true. It cannot be considered a monopoly because like, it is a, ne- is a necessity for us. Yeah. Casey's is not a monopoly, or wasn't before Jump Star. Oh yeah, it never have, would be considered monopoly. Exactly. Now SKT, that also couldn't, because they are localized here. And that's the only thing you cannot localize something that is like the banks here can't be a monopoly. Same with doctors. Why do you have that stuff? Yeah, what the heck, Noah? Okay. Uh, so uh. Oh, we are po- our political side. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. We all took the test. We all so I've been seeing a lot of like the political compass things going around recently. I see I've seen it popped up on Reddit. Oh yeah, I know it's all over Reddit. So uh we all took the test. What if Trump took it and he was like a very far left liberal? I don't think that's possible. <laughs> what if this has just been a cover? I'd lose it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Burn your hat. <laughs> So, Noah, what did you get? I got a social libertarian slash authoritarian point six seven, whatever that exactly means. Well, no, you're... Okay, so you are a left authoritarian. Barely. You're literally central. Let me see. He is in the middle. Pretty much central. Oh, yeah. Yep. I, like, it depends You're central with, like, somewhat leftist, leftist views. Which, I think most of our... I think most people nowadays. Have That's what the bit average left. person is probably what Noah just yeah. showed me. I'll say yeah. a lot. Of, even like conservative people, they have some <coughs> less views because how progressive they is. I'm just kind of like a floater. It depends on the yeah. topic. Hey, and uh, what about you? Right. What did you get? I got. What did I get? Don't mind my password because that does not show what type of party I'm affiliated with. Weren't you like right libertarian? Uh, yeah. So, uh, economically, such as like, like, welfare and stuff for like poor people and stuff, I'm very conservative. I don't believe the government should be in that at all. Yeah. Uh, and mm-hmm. for question, isn't a libertarian the people that believe the government should completely be out of the government? Like should... libertarian? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Isn't that what that says? Wait. Yeah, this is libertarian. That's like, okay. Libertarian I'm... is related to, like, anarchism. Yeah. My dad's so like, a libertarian. Like, anarchy. like Yeah. Which, not, I'm not talking about full-on anarchy. Yeah. But like, anarchism, like, so, the idea that they, the government the shouldn't be associated. The best example is Ron Swanson Is it just, Parks like, as limited government interference as possible? Yes. Like, just the basic necessities? Yeah. Okay. Uh, they be- so, what my dad believes... That the government should have should have nothing to do with our lives except for national security. Like that's they, the military and taxation should be the only thing. 
Okay. That, that's the two things you need. Like, there should be no, like, uh, helping, like, control stocks. That should be all done with business and stuff. Mm-hmm. Kind of like before the Great Depression. There should be no benefits for, like, your own welfare, homeless, stuff like that. Stuff like that. The government's just literally there to protect you. Yeah. The and... government is just there for protection. Derek Jones is a full-out libertarian then as well. Because he holds, like, the biblical view for government. Oh, yeah. Which okay, says yeah. there are only two purposes for government. And that was established in Genesis 9. And it said um, to punish evil. Okay. And which is kind of, like, yeah, you know, seek protection and stuff mm-hmm. and justice and stuff. And to praise and praise the good. Okay, yeah. That's, like, the only two, you think. Like, only two purposes for government in the Bible. But that's, that's really says. blatant. Yeah, yeah. like, that's is, past like, libertarianism. That's vague. That, like, that's way too, yeah, that's way too vague to really get a good grasp on. Sure. Yeah. But, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, <coughs> what? A lot of people would consider themselves libertarian because a lot of, like, especially conservatives... Because they don't want the government interfering with their daily lives and stuff. Well, I don't want the government – here's the thing. I don't want the government interfering with my everyday life. But I believe that the government should help regulate yeah. things like uh, the market mm-hmm. but, uh, well, I was to help s- keep things flowing. What I was going to say is a lot of libertarians don't vote libertarian and kind of hide their views because libertarians never win anything. They're kind of like the Green Party – and, like, the independent yeah. parties, like, there's no point to them. They never win. They never will. Yeah. So they kind of just give up. <laughs> Alex, uh, want to talk about what you got? Oh, yeah. I want to know what you scored. Got. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> like, He's so angry with his results. Uh, like, no, I just don't understand how this uh, compass works. Like, explain how it works to me. Okay, what do you want to know? Like... What do the four quadrants mean? So, this is right, so like conservative. This is left, like liberal. Like, I understand that, but like... This is authoritarian, and this is libertarian. This is the government has so, full control. wanting, like, if you're completely all the way up, government has full control. If you're all the way down, government has no control. Fascism is tough. So yeah. you're saying what the, your compass yeah. says is, even though you're really centralized, so like, you're mainly in the center. You're like Noah. Yeah. But... You are left, but in like Noah, but Noah was the left authoritarian. You're a left libertarian, which means that you're left, but you also somewhat don't want the government to like be in charge of like everything. So the left is saying that what, you, what's the economic left? So yeah, the left is saying that you are more for the government, like helping, uh, let's say homeless people and stuff, people on welfare. People, oh, God, you please. want to increase the min- minimum wage, stuff like that. I don't think about. I don't think increasing the minimum wage. Well, I'm not saying like that's exactly, but like those ideals. Okay. Like yeah. you have a little bit more of that. Like you believe a little bit more in that. Okay. And this is saying, which all of us here, except for Zach, who's actually really high up there and authoritarian, believe that the government should have some regulations on our lives, but shouldn't interfere all the time. That's why you're on this side. Okay. Technically, I am authoritarian a bit, but yeah, mostly which central. You and me are um, libertarians. I mean, the government, of course, rules our lives and stuff, mm-hmm. but like they shouldn't be like they shouldn't impede on like our freedoms and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like okay. they shouldn't know what we do in our own houses. Yeah, yeah. Freaking Zach. like um, all my social issue like ideas are definitely conservative. Oh yeah, yeah. But but I feel like that's how. All that's not what this is, is showing. Oh, that's not what. No. And why was there that there that one section talking about it? Like there is so, one like six different sections of the test, and there like the fourth or fifth one was talking about your views on like abortion or. The how do I go penalty. back? Oh, there we go. Where is this? There was one question that asked whether or not you thought, um, unless the mother is threatened to die. A abortion should always be illegal. That was what the question was. Yeah, I thought there was one in that too, though. If you want to just go back. Oh no, that. I already got. I already went back. Oh. God dang it, Alex. <laughs> My bad. So on this chart, it shows, like, like Hitler 
and Stalin. Mm-hmm. They believe that the government should be in complete control. They were different sides of. Now, how did Zach get so up high with that? Because he's Zach. Yeah, because he's Zach. <laughs> oh. Like, you and Noah are closer to Gandhi. Yeah. Heck yeah. That's where I was last year. And then you went to the opposite side of the yeah, spectrum. Now I'm closer to Friedman, which I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is either. Zach, who's Friedman? He's the only person that knows this stuff. Yeah. Like, I'm not that invested in politics. Oh, yeah. Like, I, I know you are. Like, I was my sophomore year. Like, I was really into watching Ben Shapiro and stuff like that. But, like, just with the news today, like, it's all negative. Like, it's mm-hmm. all about cancel culture, identity politics, all that crap. It just gets very annoying seeing the same crap over and over. What here. is it? Uh, it's all just harassed, like, yeah. talking about Trump, too, you know? I had this conversation with you, and I wanted to talk about this on our car podcast that we were going to do. I wonder why that did happen. Oh, I wonder, too. Yeah. But, um, how, um... Today, there are so many actual issues that we don't talk about anymore, such as the wildfires in um, Amazon, what are we Venezuela, about? China, Russia, the Chinese trade war, Brexit, <coughs> that's still a going on thing. We don't ever talk about them what are we talking because about? Trump is still under the stupid impeachment thing. Um, oh, you're talking about the impeachment hearings? Yeah. Well, not that, but like <clears throat> how the news has completely neglected the entire world and what's actually happening yeah, like out there because of Trump. You stuff. know the impeachment hearings are very useless, right? Yeah, yes. they're the stupidest things in the world and they're still covering them. You realize that the like Donald Trump, like I, when we were, it was kind of funny, when we were in D.C., we saw uh, a news article when we were in a, a, a restaurant. Mm-hmm. Like we were watching the news and if we all had started kind of laughing because it was CNN, and it said Donald Trump didn't even listen to the impeachment hearings. He didn't show up, and he stayed at his house and said he didn't listen to them. Is that true? Yes. Because <laughs> he thought that they were so incoherent and like well, yeah. unnecessary. Well, okay. Here's the thing. Even if he does get impeached by the House, he's, he's not gonna definitely get... not getting impeached exactly. by the Senate. Exactly. So these hearings are useless. Yeah. Is there even any actual evidence against him? I mean, (laughs) not. Like, I haven't seen any credible evidence brought up. And I know that a lot of people who are against Trump really keep wanting there to be actual evidence. But I'm just not seeing it. It's all on speculation. It's all speculations. Yeah. I'm not seeing any actual evidence here. Oh, now, sure. I do not agree on a couple of ways that Trump does run the presidency. Yeah. But I'm not stupid. I can see that there's no actual evidence against him. Where's Alex going? Yeah, Grant. Okay. Wow. Uh, While Alex is getting a drink, I guess this is a perfect time for me to give our own little shout out to all the people that bought shirts. Yeah, thanks for buying our shirts. Yes, it turned out really well. We made profit on it, and we're really happy with that. Uh, we will be doing another um, shirt thing probably next uh, year, like at the very beginning, January. Yeah. Uh, with that, we'll be doing it, of course, in person, like normal, so we can go through the school, and it's much easier to be face-to-face. We're also going to have a website, so if you don't have cash, you can go in there. Three new products will hopefully be on there. Yeah. Including the shirt that's already out. And uh, one of the products is um, car decals for like windows. I wish you didn't say decals. Stickers. Well, yeah. It's oh, no. so it's a sticker. It's a, you, it's a decal. You know those cars that like have the entire like uh like a full on picture in the okay, back? Okay, like, I you guess can't that's see a in. decal. Yeah, that's a decal. And that's what I think of when you say it. <coughs> yeah. Okay, so, yeah, a car sticker, I guess, to put on your window. Yeah. Which, uh, I'm excited for those. Yeah, they're going to look really cool. We'll probably have a few different designs. Yeah, we don't even know what we really want to go yeah. with right now. <laughs> yeah, I know. Because, honestly, what would we go with for our design? A few things. Like, we could do just, we could do our logo, mm-hmm. and then we could do a, a banner, Jesse Jesse's banner that he made a while back. Oh, that yeah. That thing, we could do something like that. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we could have the three silhouettes, however. Uh, I don't know how well that would work for a sticker. 
You just cut out the three guys and make them one sticker. Right. But we're black. We're not black. I mean, like, our... <laughs> <laughs> we're not actually black, but yeah. our like Wait, our you know images. What? Shut up. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I see where you're going. Yeah, that might not work. Yeah, unless we, like, make them, like, pale white. But they'll be coming out in uh, different colors. If you pre-order, you can tell me what color you want, and I'll get it in that color. Okay, yeah. Boom. So, I'm excited Woo. for that. Uh, what was I going to say? What was I going to say? I've lost conscience. And what was that um thing you were talking about creative writing today? Oh, that was a joke. Oh, was it really? Yeah. Well, then you said there was another thing, like, in the parking lot. Today oh, yeah. About. I was going to tell you, uh... Uh, I'm available B4 Thursday. B4 or before? B4. So before Thursday, like on Wednesday. B4. Yes. <laughs> before Thursday. No. Uh, are you wanting to go to the mentorship with me? Yeah. I'd love uh, to. You can. We're just going to be doing visitations that day. I'd love to do that. If I'm if I'm available or if I'm able to. Ask Derek about it. Okay, yeah. yeah. Which I'm coming to church tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Zach needs to lighten around his DC trip again because. Oh yeah, reasons. I went on DC. Went what? what? <laughs> <laughs> Stroke. I went to DC. Welcome back. Yeah. Yeah. Immigrant. I, I went to our nation's capital. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> uh. So yeah, DC. It was a lot of fun. A lot of messing around. A lot of. Getting to go to memorials, a lot of a certain person getting lost multiple times. I want to hear this story. Uh, maybe, yeah. <laughs> uh, it was fun. It was really cool. How do you like the East Coast? The people there are total a holes. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what I've learned from going there a bunch of times. Like, yeah, they They're were terrible. not. They were not nice. Dude, New York's worse. That's expected. The New Yorkers. Yeah. What are you talking about? I'm walking here. I'm walking here. You know they don't just say that, right? Yeah. I'm walking here. Forget about it. Forget about it. I've been to New York three times. Never heard a single person say either. You're literally wearing a New York hoodie right now. Arrow Nick. That's true. I didn't even know that. Arrow Nick. I did not go to New York. That was crispy. Okay, Alex. Then Alex had to ruin it. So, yeah, the East Coast is full of really weird people. How is it? How like do you like it, the look of the East Coast? The look? Yeah, like the, the nature and stuff. Oh yeah, it was, what nature? Did you not go outside of the city at all? I went to Gettysburg. But that was about it. It's not even that far. Away. I was did you on the plane? plane? Oh wait, we did go to Mount Vernon too. Oh, that's and that beautiful. was that was very beautiful. Vernon. That's insane. Also, I've always called Vernon. <laughs> What? I don't know why. When I... What is it? Uh, Washington D.C. is covered in cherry blossom trees because of World War Two. Yeah. No. World War One. World War Two. World War One. Was it World War One? World War yeah. Three, actually. Shut up. Okay. Yeah, they were gifted to America after World War One oh, okay. by I thought it was World Japanese, War II. which was ironic, like because <laughs> just a few years later, I'm we'd really go into glad war we didn't send again. those back with the bombs. Oh jeez! Because oh, we sent God. dog tag, or we what? What did we send back when we first bombed Tokyo? Pamphlets, little newsletters that said we're those. bombing. Oh no, not those. Um, the Doolittle raids. Is, oh, uh, they put medals on the bombs <coughs> that they sent oh, back. Oh yeah, yeah. I forget what exactly what they were. I'm so glad because I love cherry blossoms. Those are my favorite trees. <laughs> How was the okay. view from the plane, awesome. though? Oh, uh, the plane, yeah, it was a good view. It was really nice. But, uh, went to a lot of museums. Went to a couple Smithsonian museums. The, the Air One. Aerospace. Aerospace and aeronautics. Yeah, yes. Air. And then, um... <laughs> Earth. We went to... Fire. Okay, shut up. <laughs> and then we went to the, uh... American History One. This is completely off topic. If the United States was broken up into four elements, what states would be what? I don't know, but this is also completely off topic. I didn't even know this, but apparently I have a Hebrew, Chaldee, and Greek dictionary. Do you have a Greek one? Well, well it's all Ian, one. let's think about this. Florida would definitely be Wait. fire. 
Oh, you have a strong system. I would think. No. I don't know what that is. Dude. What state's on fire right now? California. Yes. Why would Florida be on because fire? Because it's hot as balls there. Okay, so, um. I think it would be water. Kansas is pretty three. obviously the air. The northern ones. Air, <laughs> yeah, air. No, I think the Midwest would be air. Yeah, the well, Midwest would be air. Colorado. Freaking tornado Valley. Colorado would be. Like the Rockies, of course. Would be Earth. Earth. Did you know that Kansas actually produces like the second most uh, wind energy in the nation? That's very ironic. But it also doesn't it's surprise like the Great me. Plains yeah, I know it's the Great Plains and like. There. It doesn't surprise me. I feel like me. we get more wind than Chicago does. Yeah, Chicago nicknamed the Windy City. Kansas. Well, I mean, hold my have, beer. Wichita is the nickname of air capital of the world. We haven't been air capital of the world for the last like twenty years. Yeah. Wait. That's true. Wait. There's no that's air just, That's which does Nick. Yeah, there's no air capital anymore, really. Because, like, Boeing left. They, like, like L.A. and stuff, they started yeah. building hangars and stuff. And we were called that because of World War II. Well, which is still Harrison Ford's favorite city in the earth, so. Is that true? Yeah, I think so. Well, that's amazing. It's one of his favorite. He comes to Wichita all the time because, you know, he's my a grandma pilot. actually done before. Oh, because yeah. Because Har- Harrison Ford. Yeah, my grandma yeah. got to talk to him. That's real cool. Because Harrison oh, Ford's a pilot in real life. Okay. Which is why in all of his movies he flies planes. Yes. Star Wars. Does he Ma- actually fly the Millennium Falcon? Yeah. Yeah, yeah totally. Through space. Go. My uncle. All life footage. Um, totally no edits. My uncle is a pilot, and he's gotten to fly, fly famous people before. He's oh. flown uh, Bradley Cooper. Really? Uh, shoot, who was he? Brad Pitt. Anyone Matt else named Brad who's famous? Yeah, all the Brads. All, all the Brads. <laughs> What's another Brad quickly? Brad Pistonic. Brad Parker. <laughs> <laughs> no. He's not famous. He's just an a-hole lawyer. <laughs> Didn't editor. he just go to jail? <clears throat> no, that wasn't just... That happened a while back. Okay. He went to... Or he got sued or something. Yeah. <laughs> the lawyer gets okay, sued. You have to know how bad a guy is when his own son kicks him out of their law firm. For being an a hole. That's great. The bull. Because that's what his son did. He was getting into too many scandals that his own son's like, you got to get out of here. I'm sorry, but like every time I saw him on a commercial, I'm just like, that guy's a dick. Yeah. Like, I, I can just tell. <laughs> I agree. Uh, no, but DC is what we were talking about. Yeah. <laughs> How can you get to I have a question. Stop? Well, uh, <laughs> no. So, like the changing of the guard, or oh, the, that, yeah, or the unknown soldier. Changing of the guard. Uh, wasn't uh Clearwater soon able to change the reef? Yes, four of them. Mm-hmm. Who, it was on the news this morning. That? It was on the night. news yesterday. Last oh, night. was it this morning? Nicole? Mackenzie, Nicole, Tane, and Avery. Avery. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Was that? I'm cool? confused. How did that go? Yeah, it was really cool. How did they like get to do that? You have to write like an essay and okay. and blah, 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 blah. Got it. I didn't want to do it. Okay. Because yeah. that would have been a lot of work. Okay, yeah. And I think it would have been cooler to just watch it. So. I say, imagine if you like fell down. I know. That's, ex- that's exactly many, what I would think. Although, although it was kind it. of hilarious trying to watch them walk in step. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they were just. Because, you know, it was three Dang like it. military officers. And they did this really weird thing. I know the audience isn't going to be able to see what I'm doing, but you guys can. So they would walk, and whenever they uh, did, like, a right turn, they would, like, do this. They would, like, oh yeah, move yep. their left foot first, and then they would extend their right foot out really far and click their feet together. And, like, their heels have metal clickers in them. It would make a really loud, like, oh, That'd actually be cool. It was so cool, because, yeah. like, they would be like. That's cool, actually. Yeah, I mean, it was really cool to watch. Uh, Michigan State. <coughs> Especially when all three of them did it, like, in unison. That's dope. Uh, that's mm-hmm. Like, and they were really far away from each other. Like, it, it was so cool. Imagine doing that for marching band. And, no, like, that would be Michigan amazing. State Spartans. That's how they march. Oh, dude, that's dope. Jeez. God, so that's that actually, amazing. like, a part of the no, music, too. No, um, they're quad players. They put them to their sides. Like, they constantly look forward. But, the, yeah, the legs, like, go all the way out. Kind of like a horse, like, uh, hitting his legs. That's what it looks like. It sounds stupid. It looks, no, it's amazing. I, I wouldn't want to do that. They're, um, last, uh, I watched a video. It was, like, ten minutes long of them just introducing the entire band. 
the drum line got out and the entire band just like each section had their own little dance routine and stuff. Did they like they all dance like the no like players too? No, no, like the drum lines like kind of like a tunnel thing. Mm-hmm. They played a very long cadence. Mm-hmm. The entire band just comes out in each section, hmm. and they just do like a That's dance cool. routine and stuff. Hmm. Anyway, so uh, the DC was fun. We went to a bunch of monuments and museums and uh, messed around in the hotel a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, how is making out with Donald Trump? Making out with Donald Trump. Mm-hmm. How does he kiss? He kisses uh, firmly. What about AOC? AOC? She was eating dog shit in a corner. (laughs) 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 Was she just like, when you were making out with Trump, you can just open one eye, see her in the corner? You could probably smell it, couldn't you? Smell it from a mile away, dude. (laughs) When is her re-election coming up? Soon. is Is that the same election year as Trump? Well, not the same day. But oh, yeah, but like... Time period, or... Yeah, around that same time. She's out. None of her New Yorkers like her. Yeah! It's... No one likes her. I don't know how she got there. I don't know. And she wants to run for president in the future? <laughs> no one likes her. I was having this discussion with my dad <coughs> how, like, in America, anyone can run for a political position. Anyone. Yeah. But there should be a certain degree of, like... Like, who you are to allow you to get to that high of a position. Because what? She was like a bartender that went to House of Representatives. Did she do any, like, other... Did she do anything for college? Nope. It's literally just a bartender. Bartender. That's it? Yep. Elected. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's Which, like, that's how America classy. should work. Yeah. But, eh, no. You should at least be trained somehow. Who was it? I think it's Kansas. No, it is Kansas. I forget if it's. I think it's governor. You uh, there there is no uh, there is no um, age requirement for governor in Kansas. Yeah, I remember there's an article last year talking about how a 16 year old yeah was trying to run for governor. Yep. Didn't he get? I thought didn't he get like over a thousand votes though? I, I don't quite remember. I was like, I think I remember reading something like he got actually like a good number of votes. Like surprisingly, I mean, if you're that young wanting to run for governor, like that probably means you know your stuff. That's true, and like you probably you're probably very well educated and know how. It works. Yeah, but you would still have to. You would have to go to high things. school. That's true. While running a state, no, imagine that. Like you enter the high school. Hello, Mr. <laughs> Governor. You want an A today? He would walk to school with Secret Service. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, your teachers are fearful because you're the one that gives them their um, paychecks. God, you want an A today? I'd like a bonus, please. <laughs> oh my god, uh, that would actually be an impressive story right there. That would be. Alex, you got any topics for today? Click on my text. Okay, so when we you spent the night and I was writing down stuff, you, you know, <laughs> remember how I was very sick? Yeah. Uh, jerk. I wrote down a lot of it, and none of it makes any sense. I, let's let's hear them. The first two is like, Gashon adds to a chi. Second <laughs> one is Ife. Third one's Mandalorian. What are you writing? I wrote, Wait, let me see these. <laughs> I wrote down podcast topics. Uh, Saturday night when he spent the night at my house. Oh, but new like, Sonic redesign. But I don't know what these are. I don't either. You talked like Lindsay that one night that I told you about. <laughs> Gation at to Ati. It's like I was actually blackout drunk. Ian yeah. Bay, Mandalorian. Ian is thoughtless and old. I hate okay. you. <laughs> Biggest Wait. fears, creative writing, other podcast topic. <laughs> you, had, you didn't even think of a topic. You just put other topic. <laughs> what? Okay, Zach. I love you, Lindsay, but this has to be known. Oh, boy. She So this weekend, she went out two nights in a row and got blacked out drunk. Oh, boy. She texted me in the middle of the night, like the kind of like Alex's gibberish here. <laughs> and I was so confused and worried. <laughs> Like, I tried to hold a conversation to, like, kind of, like, uh, like get her to fall asleep, and it just wouldn't work. What was she trying to say? I tried <laughs> to ask her the next day. It's like, what were you saying last night? It's like, I don't know. <laughs> Did I text you last night? It's like, oh, God. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Mandalorian. Yeah, what about Mandalorian? Hold on. Have you not seen it? I don't want to spoil it for Yeah, I don't want to spoil it either if you haven't seen it. Okay, but it's just really good. 
Gotta it, see it, it is. It's like, really good. Okay, this is what Disney Star Wars should be. Disney is yeah. about to become stupid rich from Disney Plus. Yeah, it's such a good platform. Uh, and who wouldn't do it? Disney has so many great movies. Yeah, like they make what twelve movies a year. They make a decent amount of movies. Like I don't the know Aladdin if it's Cash 12? Cab, but it's they the Lion the King Cash action. Cab. You mean uh, Cash Grab? Dumbo uh, Cash Grab. Yeah. That which no one, one ever which watched, failed? So it wasn't the cast grab. Wait, which one? Dumbo. Dumbo. Oh, Dumbo. I watched that, but Did I fell you, asleep during terrifying. it. terrifying. Yeah. I saw it in uh, the, the drive-in. Oh. It's kind of funny. Me and Riley went to go watch Dumbo, and the other movie was Aladdin, which we had seen like three times already. Mm-hmm. We fell asleep during Dumbo and woke up and watched Aladdin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Dumbo was my favorite childhood movie. <coughs> like from VHS tapes. Oh, yeah. I do not want to see this. Didn't they make A Lady and the Tramp? Yeah, that's only on Disney Plus. Yeah, I watched Disney that Plus only. last night. It's not that bad. It's like Lion King. Mm-hmm. So just complete remake? Complete remake. Some shots I prefer, of course, in um, live action. Others I prefer in animation. And that's how I felt about the line. Did they do that spaghetti thing? Yeah. It was kind of really weird watching two dogs. Yeah, I was going to say, that would literally just be two dogs looking at each other. <laughs> that's what it was. That was really <laughs> okay. Hold That'd on. Weird. Got a little bit too intimate for me. I had to kind of leave the room for Technically, a Technically, it's all animation, no matter if it's okay. quote-unquote live Shut action. Up. I'm Noah Parker, and I talk about animation when things are stupid. Argument. We understand it's still animated. We don't care. It's a live action adaptation. Wait, so could have the new Lion King movie, if it was like really, really, really good, could it have won like best live action movie and best animated movie? Technically, No. no. (laughs) <laughs> no, I said. Wait, if it was wait, wait. Does well, that, Alex is really biased towards does, this. Does I that make Sonic the Hedgehog a live action movie? Sonic the Hedgehog. That looks so. It good looks now. so good now. But yeah, the does. redesign is amazing. I'm not gonna lie. There are still a couple of things I think, but it is so much. No, better. no, no, no. I'm 100 percent on board with them because that team took their time. To completely scrap that terrible. Yeah, they design. literally listened to their audience a hundred percent. I wish video games did that. I wish listen Disney to their freaking audience. Yeah, maybe they wouldn't just keep remaking movies. That's no. <laughs> <laughs> Same with Star Wars too. Like they would do what the fans want, but like with the new ones, it's just complete crap. Yeah. Here's not just a new trilogy, really. Mm. Isn't a Mandalorian like an instrument? No. no, wait. You're it's talking about Mandolin. in real life? Isn't it? Yeah. Look this up. I thought it was Mandolin. I don't think it's Mandolin. Mandolin's a device. Yeah. Mandolin is something, but it's not Mandalorian. Mandarin is the Chinese Shut language. up. No, like, that sounds similar. Mandalorian? Mandarin? No. I thought you were also... I thought you, get rid of the I honestly thought you were going to go the way of talking about the Iron Man 3 villain. Oh. Uh, the Mandarin? Yeah, the Mandarin. I just yeah. watched it on Disney Plus, actually. You just seen it? No. Oh, okay. I mean, I just rewatched oh, it. Oh, I say, no, it's kind of late to the party here. No, I, I like that movie though. Wait, what time no, period is the Mandalorian I, I it too, set in? Oh, it's... right after the fall of the Empire. Is it right after? There you go. There we go. That didn't happen. So, have you found any information, Zach? Is nope. It, it's not okay. So yeah, I think it's just the uh, Mandal. Is that what you called it? I think a mandolin. Mandolin. I think mandolin is an what actual mandolin? device. Also, why do you have a hermit crab shell? Because we used to have hermit crabs. I love hermit crabs. I just realized I didn't talk about my political compass. That's true. Do you want to talk do about you your political to? compass? <laughs> uh, I mean... <laughs> Too bad you are. <laughs> so, uh, I, I think all of us got a different quadrant, didn't we? All four of us. Yeah, we're all. F- oh yeah, yeah. four different corners. I yeah, was, uh, third. Yeah, so that I'm leaves fourth. me with being the last one. <laughs> the worst one. Not the worst well, one. Well, it's not the worst, but like because the, you know, historically the average, worst. The average conservative is a right authoritarian. Yeah, it's true. But they're usually more right than they are authoritarian. <laughs> yeah. I'm very far authoritarian. Very little, right? I, I find that weird, though. Because if you think about it, <coughs> wouldn't conservatives want less from the government? 
because the liberals and Democrats depend more on like the government like helping them. Well, I mean, kind of, but like, it's it's more than just that. Like, it, it takes other things. I feel like there's a lot of layers of pol of, of the pol political system that we don't know. Yeah. Well, this isn't just a. Uh, U.S. the political compass. Yeah, it's, it's worldwide. The world. Yeah, and yeah. all across the world, Democrat means something else. That's true. Yeah, I mean, for a very long time, Democrat meant something different here. I know. It was until thirty years ago. Yeah, my dad is still technically a registered Democrat because, like, thirty plus years ago, Democrats used to be for the people, and now they're for the minority. <laughs> I salute you. <laughs> so, so, yeah, that's my political compass. I'm very far authoritarian. You're so far that you're almost. Don't. You're don't, almost. Don't say his name. I'm bro. not going to. You're almost. Like, you know that thing that happened? You know Times Man of the Year? So, in DC, in DC, I went to. Six. Oh, man. In DC, yeah. I went to this place called the Holocaust Museum. I remember this joke. There is a man responsible for that who lies on the political compass test, and I am close to him. And this I'm not proud of. <laughs> In fact, I took the test two years ago, and I got like pretty close to him, and I was mad about that. So I just retook the test today in lunch, and I got even closer. <laughs> <laughs> what, in a single day, you changed even more? I don't even know. You know, it could also just be because you were rushed during the lunch one. That could have been it. So you if know? you took your time and actually thought about it thoroughly, you could probably get a different... Do you sort think of... Times Magazine ever apologized for making a man of the year? Because that's a big thing in our like society today, making people apologize for like past errors. They're gonna apologize like this year. <laughs> you just <laughs> randomly out of blue. Okay, we are sorry. Who people are voting to be time of the year? Who this year? The Hong Kong protesters. Like people are voting for them. I don't like them anymore. <laughs> Why? Because they used to do peaceful protests. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, they yeah. have gotten very violent. It's not peaceful That's anymore. True. Exactly. That's where I don't like There protests. was. I saw this thing on the internet the other day. A cop got shot by a bow in the leg. <laughs> an arrow went through his <laughs> leg. I, I used to be an adventurer like, like you until I took an arrow to the knee. Jesus. That's so stupid. Yeah, the Hong Kong, Hong Kong protesters, like... They they were being so harmful. Like they caused the police to open fire a few days ago. Mm -hmm. I do know that the police was like being way more violent to start out with. Oh uh, yeah, I know. I'm well, the not, police like, normally are like that. Yeah, the yeah. police there. Yeah. Like I'm not supporting but them at all. Like, think of our civil rights movement. And to be, to be honest, I'm in support of the Hong Kong protesters. Oh yeah, yeah me too. But not. But when they, I'm not uh, gonna support them being like protesting violent. violently. Yes. I mean, they don't have the same amendment rights as we like. True. We, in America, we're allowed to protest, but not violently. Mm. I mean, there, that's what I mean, we had to do to get our de democratic rights yeah, in the Industrial Revolution. But there, they don't even have the right to protest. Mm -hmm. So, like, the fact that they're just, that they're even doing and that. And with the thing that you said about, really like, the cool. cops being even more violent, I guess the ideal, like, strong-willed. Like, think of our civil rights. The March from Salem. Salem. Or Selma, not Salem. That's a different place. Uh, yeah. They got beaten on the bridge, what, three times? Mm -hmm. Never actually got violent from the protesters. That's the way it should be, because violence only makes the public dislike you more. Yeah, so, like, mm -hmm. that's what draws me away from them. It's literally you working backwards. Which, okay, this is another um, stupid political thing that's happening. You, you guys know PETA. PETA. Oh, God. People that protect animals... Quote, quote. Uh, they <laughs> no longer. Alex, your sister just texted me and said, "What's neoliberalism?" <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because she, she took the political compass test. Oh, obviously, she, she neoliberal. Yeah, that's apparently. not that wouldn't be surprising. My dad texted me in the middle of a podcast saying, "Hey, are you doing podcasts?" I was like, "Yeah." Then he texted me, "Hey, you should do an impression of me." What does that mean? I, I'm supposed to act like him? Do it. 
Well, well, I look like him right now, so that's good enough for an impression. Do, do his voice. Do his voice. Do his voice. Hey, you guys. He does not no. have a deep voice. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how to do his like, voice. Hey, guys. So, uh, want to go uh, watch... Uh, uh, hey, I baked some breakfast burritos. <laughs> I like it. That was me. That was in Zach. FYI. Good job. Oh, yeah, that was, was Alex. Yes. But um, yeah. Oh my. You know, wait. I it just like it just clicked in my head that your sister texted me saying that she was like what asking what neoliberalism is. Cause she's that's conservatism. What? Your sister is right, and you aren't. Your sister. No, I guess more I mean, Republican than you are. Well, she's like, a feminist, and she's more for, like social issues and stuff. I'm way more conservative, and like for most things, I am conservative on a Republican. Okay, but I don't know. I'm confused by politics. Alex, she almost voted for a socialist. <laughs> I don't even have the right to vote right now. Well, I mean, about? like you were you in, so have. interested in a socialist guy. I learned about him one day. Yeah, I'll learn all the candidates because I'm actually going to be vo- voting next year. I know we who I'm voting learn, for. We should all learn no what all the candidates are. No we'll part of a president. You know? I'm officially announcing my campaign. Any any person that says they are in full support of uh, crap, what was it? I don't know. I can't remember. Oh, mind. the new Green Deal. Oh no, don't vote for it. But um, Peta, they took down all of our pictures and stuff. The polar bears. Never mind. I don't know why she texted me saying that. What? I asked her, I was like, did you get neoliberalism? She was like, oh no, I got between communism and liberal. That sounds right. That sounds right. <laughs> she got upper, lower left. So she got the same thing as you, Alex. Oh, you and your stepsister <laughs> are so alike. Aww. That's adorable. Oh, you're both left libs. <laughs> <laughs> but um, Peta took down all their pictures of their polar bears, and when they were asked why they did this, this was what they said: "There are too many of them, so we can no longer support them." Are you kidding me? Nope. That's literally what Peta said to the news. That outlet. is blarky. Blarky. That's the worst. Like. Tactic to save an animal. Seriously. Okay, just because they reach a threshold does not mean you stop supporting them. Yep. Get them beyond the threshold at least. And then slowly kind of like... Oh no, not even that. Here's a genius idea. Use the polar bear as your poster boy. Exactly. Look, we just saved this guy. Let's continue it. Why would Bam. you just drop him? It's like... I am putting the polar bear kind of as a client in the... Peta's their agent. <laughs> like they just made their first golden or platinum album. Drop them. Drop them. Yeah, this is. I heard that. It was, that was a story about two months ago. Stupidest thing I've ever heard coming out of those people. Yeah, that's that's not good. Remember, very, those are the people. Very big dumb. They went to um, what was it? I think it was Wyoming, a ferret farm. With a bunch of domestic ferrets. And they, yeah, they killed the ferrets for fur and stuff. Because that is a thing. But, like, they were, that's what they were made for. Like, cows are bred to be slaughtered. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's what these ferrets were for. They're domestic ferrets. They broke all the ferrets' cages, let them out into the wild. And they probably all died. They all died. Because, one, they're domestic. Yeah. They've never lived a day in their life out there. They don't, they don't know how to scavenge for food. They don't know Mm -hmm. how to survive the predators. They're going to die. That's why. I Isn't PETA you. also the people that marry llamas? What? Yeah, they marry animals. Probably the people who have sex with animals. That sounds right. Furries. <laughs> furries? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wait, are fursuits, like for furries, made out of actual animal fur? Sometimes. How the hell do you know that? It was on a stream. The, the streamer used to actually make furry suits. Uh, why were you watching that stream? Uh, Who was it? I don't even know. It was some random one that popped up in my recommended, and <laughs> I decided, you know, why not? <laughs> no, but this is a terrible argument. I know. Trust me. I don't know why they were. Oh, I, I do know. They were labeled under art. 
and I've been watching an art streamer before uh, that. And so it popped up art recommended category streams for some reason. For and that was, design. It popped up the ones that had the most viewers and like that person was on the topic about furries and uh, that ensued and they actually said that and i'm like i did not need to know this i'm out <laughs> no so good. yeah it just gave me a completely new light about you oh lord hell that was great that's it uh, okay that was pretty good good job no you made my day and what's our welcome. time at we are at 56. Oh, dang. I think that's a good, yeah. that's a really good place thank to end Thank you, Noah, for that. I, okay. <laughs> I'm out. So, yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for listening. Uh, again, I'm sorry we've been gone for a month. Uh, had problems. But we are back now, hopefully forever. Yeah. Can you stop saying that? No. <laughs> but we're back forever. now, hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> As if something bad's about to happen. I'm Alex Ost. I'm Ian Oblock. And I'm Noah Parker. And I'm Zach Randolph. And this has been The Degenerates. School appropriate, you